My name is Tom van Eyck. I live and work in Amsterdam. Since 17 years I've been doing injectables and aesthetics. Before that I uh, was doing cardiac surgery, plastic surgery. Always wanted to become a plastic surgeon and failed to get into training. Uh, so I flunked and I was doing injectables on the side and suddenly stumbled upon the fern pattern technique and that particular invention uh, changed my career uh, for the better and um, I never want to become a plastic surgeon ever since. I'm most well known for the fern pattern technique which is a technique to strengthen the dermis without filling it. I think it's essential if you have a face which is over 25 you will find changes in skin strength and skin texture that if you strengthen the skin uh, might improve your overall aesthetics. On top of that I will use my lip tinting technique to enhance the lips and to give a more defined shape to the white roll. Looking at the anatomy of the lip it's important to realize that the familial border is a very weak structure and the white roll is very strong. So if you want to elevate the white roll, if you want to project the white roll, it's important to hit the white roll with your needle and make little tent poles from the muscle or the fat, whichever tissue is in the lip, upwards to elevate the white roll and to make it sharp. I think if you go the other way, if you, if you follow the white roll and you fill it, you have a blunt effect, um, which will give a very noticeable fake uh, lip enhancement. On average I think I use about uh, 24 each side, 24 injections for a lip to divide the gel into small portions. If we talk about one mil on average for upper and lower lip, I think uh, 2 times 24 is my average of injection points. With the fern pattern, addressing the skin, that might be 50, 60, I don't know, it's a lot. Basically every pore that is not as strong as I want it to be gets hit um, to make sure you have a nice spread of material. This is Monique. Monique has had several treatments with hyaluronic acid filler before. Last time was more than a year ago. Today she would like to address the upper lip lines, the vertical upper lip lines and the marionette folds. Regarding the lips, she really wants the corners of the lip elevated, we call that the canine arc, and a more enrolled, plump lower lip. As you see with age, the skin changes and you see differences in skin strength and of course the volume and the enlargement of the cheek contributes to that marionette fold. So what we're doing today is using the front pattern technique for the marionette folds and the upper lip lines. According to the lip tenting technique, we're going to enlarge the lip, raise the canine arc and unroll the lower lip. So now it's time for the anesthesia. The anesthesia with lidocaine, it's a hybrid field block dental block. I like to call it the Amsterdam block. Extremely superficial. This is 0.25 mil. The same on the other side. As well as the lower lip. In order to shape the ring, let's go back to the first injection and from this numb area, go to the side. To address the corners of the mouth of the upper lip. and the medial injections. The lower lip first. Since we know the central upper lip is most sensitive. A 
and save that for last. So this is 12 times 0.25 mil, a total of 3 mil. So in order to strengthen the jawline, it's important to address the marionette folds. And the folds themselves will indicate where strength is needed. So you see it takes a lot of injections and just a little bit of product to strengthen the dermis in this region. And this is all preparation of the actual augmentation of the lips we're going to do. It's essential to hit the dermis only if you want to strengthen the skin, since if you go underneath the skin you will give a filling where you don't want to. After burning the marionette folds and strengthening the jawline, uh, now it's time to do the lips themselves. In order to obtain the elevation of the white roll, it's important not to inject in the vermilion border, but just above it, since the white roll has a much stronger structure in comparison to the vermilion border. That makes the elevation without the blunt filling effect. You see that with all the small aliquots you can very precisely shape the lips.
So this needle is the 30 gauge, 13 millimeter from TSK. And the gel is Restylane, Restylane Regular from the Nasha family. And as you can see, it's quite sturdy. So it's excellent to give strength in the skin without adding volume. So the reason I prefer the needle for this lip augmentation is the fact that as opposed to using a cannula, you can very precisely pressure a product in all tissue layers and reducing displacement afterwards. So if you want to read more about it, um, I've read an article in PMFA on the lip tinting technique. It explains why and how to do it. If you don't want to learn more about the fern patent technique or other techniques, please go to tomvonikeacademy.com. That will take you to the hands-on trainings, or the agenda where I will be next year in what part of the world. Um, if you're unable to come, of course, there's a section where you can go for the online trainings, uh, also on tomanikeacademy.com. That will take you to the online segment for the fern pattern and all the other techniques. You can find the needles at tsklab.com.